Uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, this is indeed a, a super exciting day for, for Tesla. Um, I think one, one of the most exciting days uh, in, in Tesla history um, because we're, we're announcing this uh, historic partnership uh, with uh, Tesla and, and Toyota. Um, the, uh, it consists of three um, major uh, areas. Uh, Toyota is making a, an, an investment in Tesla. Um, there is uh, going to be uh, also the, the NUMI plant. We will be uh, purchasing the NUMI, NUMI plant uh, and making the Model S and other cars there. Um, and then thirdly, uh, <coughs> we're going to collaborate on uh, joint ventures in electric vehicles. So we're going to create some electric vehicles together. Um, so it, it's, it's, a, it's a great honor for, for Tesla to uh, uh, work with a, a company like Toyota, um, which is really one of the leaders in the world. Uh, it's a company I've personally uh, long admired. Um, and uh, uh, it's really, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great honor. Um, and uh, I'd, I'd also, I'd also like to thank uh, the, uh, the, the, the governor and the, and the state legislature of California, um, you know, the, the consistent policy on uh, environmental regulation and on emissions has been a key driver for uh, the advancement of electric vehicles. Um, and obviously with, without the governor's support and the legislature's support, I don't think we would be nearly as far along as, as we are today. Um, so, and then of course, finally, thanking the, the people of uh, Tesla uh, who have worked so hard to, to make, uh, make this company uh, what it is today. Uh, with that, uh, thank you very much, and I'll turn it over. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Musk. I would also like to thank Governor Schwarzenegger for being with us today. As Mr. Musk mentioned, Tesla and Toyota agreed on partnership, including such areas as the development of electric vehicles. In addition, Toyota has decided to invest in Tesla. From now, we'll begin discussing details, including how the partnership will be structured. Further, I have been told Tesla has agreed to purchase part of the land owned by Numi, the former joint venture between GMM and Toyota, and that it will produce electric vehicles there. I myself spent time at Numi, and I learned much about working in America there. So I feel a sense of attachment toward the plant. I'm extremely happy that the DNA of car making that the NUMI team developed over 25 years of production there will live on in an industry for the future. I would like to take this opportunity to again thank Mr. Musk and other people at Tesla, the governor and the government of the state of California who made this agreement possible. During a visit here earlier this spring, Mr. Musk kindly gave me an opportunity to, try to drive one of Tesla's electric vehicles. Yeah. Not only was I impressed by Tesla technology, but I also felt their energy, seeing that they made the vehicle in an extremely short time. Simply put, I felt the wind, the wind of the future. While driving, I talked with Mr. Musk, and again, I was strongly moved by his dedication to monozukuri, or Toyota's approach to making things. Through this partnership, by working together with a venture business such as Tesla, Toyota would, would like to learn from Tesla's challenge spirit, quick decision making, and flexibility. That is a big part of the reason we decided to partner with Tesla. Decades ago, Toyota was also born as a venture business and grew over the years. <laughs> By partnering with Tesla, my hope is that all Toyota employees will recall that venture business spirit and take on the challenge of the future. Since taking office last, last June, I have raised the topic of car making for the next 100 years, and highlights the need to depend less on oil. Through this partnership, 
Toyota is determined to enhance its environment technology and to further part participate in the development of new and emerging industries, such as those involving electric vehicles and smart grid technologies. By doing so, my strong wish is for us to continue to be a good corporate citizen in the U.S. I also understand this is a sync with the governor's long-term environment and energy policy, in which he is showing strong leadership. Along with our dealers, suppliers, and our employees, Toyota is determined to continue its car-making efforts in the United States. Thank you very much. Thanks for the introduction. Oh, um, <laughs> I mean, uh, let's see. <laughs> I, I think you. Uh, this Elon is all frozen today. <laughs> he never got so much press attention in his life. But anyway, it's it's uh, great to be here. And uh, um, Akio Toyota, thank you very much for coming over here. I know that you're still suffering from jet lag, which is coming from Japan. But uh, it's great to have you here in our state. And uh, thank you for bringing this business to our state. We really appreciate it. And of course, uh, uh, Elon Musk, uh, who has been an extraordinary leader in car manufacturing, and uh, you know, we love his uh, cars that he's producing. And it's great also to have Lieutenant Governor Maldonado here with us, and Treasurer Lockyer, thank you very much, and Senator Corbett, thank you for being here, and Susan Kennedy, my Chief of Staff, and Susan and Secretary Vicky Bradshaw, who's here, and the list goes on. There's all kinds of important people here, so excuse me if I don't mention everyone, but I just want to say I'm honored to stand here today with Tesla and Toyota to announce this historic partnership. I think this has been, uh, they've been working on it for quite some time. Uh, you know, we all know that we love our cars here in California. I think Californians love cars. But we also love equally as much our environment. And we love to protect our coastline and our ocean and our sky and, and everything. Our environment is very, very important. And this is why we passed certain legislation in California, if it is AB 32, to make a commitment to roll back our greenhouse gases, or if it is uh, the renewable uh, standard uh, for renewable energy being 33%, or building the hydrogen highway, the Green Building Initiative, and all of those kind of things. And uh, first, of course, when we passed those laws, we felt certain resistance. But now more and more companies and industries are coming on board. The same was with the car companies. There was resistance amongst the car manufacturers. They all sued us. The state of California has been sued by every car manufacturer that you can think of. Not Tesla, of course. Um, <laughs> but, you know, we didn't uh, pull back. We stayed on course. In the end, I think that is really the important uh, characteristic of California's environmental policies, that we stay on course. That we know that the, that the car can, uh, companies, all renewable energy companies, solar, whatever it may be, biofuel, they invest in California because we stay on course. That is the important thing. And so there was a lot of pushing and shoving going on, but now look what has happened because we stayed the course. Toyota is here today. They, of course, are a very admirable company. Yes, they had difficulties, but let's not forget, for instance, the Prius. I mean, what an extraordinary car that they've built there, a car that goes more than 50 miles per gallon. That is really extraordinary. That was revolutionary. And it's a good-looking car. And then we have here Tesla that has been producing the sports car. And I've talked about that sports car for a lot of, in a lot of environmental speeches that they've given around the country and around the world that you can do something that is very sexy looking, that goes uh, from zero to 60 in less than 3.9 uh, seconds, and also something that you know, is attractive and has, is cost effective and so on. So we love both of those forces now that build great cars to come together here. And that is, of course, is gonna be a great, great explosion for the state of California. Because what we're talking about here is, is that Toyota is investing $50 million in this great company. They've shown that they have confidence in Tesla, and Tesla has shown that they have confidence in Toyota. And I think this is what this is all about. And by doing that, uh, with this partnership, they're going to create over 1,000 new jobs. Now, I don't have to tell you how much this means to California. 
because we have a 12.5% unemployment rate. So these people will really appreciate when they go back to work. We have seen what happened with the NUMI plant that was closed down just a few months ago. And because of that, thousands of people were laid off. So now we slowly can bring them back because of this great partnership. I think that it is also very important to mention that this all happened because we have created tax incentives for this company and for this partnership. Because they could have gone anywhere else in America. They could have gone to Nevada, to New Mexico, to Texas, to Florida, anywhere else. But he stayed here because of the tax incentives, because financially it worked out. And I want to have, recognize uh, Treasurer Lakia for sitting down with us and recognizing that there is money there that the treasurer has that most people don't always know about. <laughs> and he looked through with a loop. He looked in there and he found stuff. And so this is really exactly when you see someone going beyond the regular duties and to really make an extra effort and to sit there. And I appreciate also that the legislatures recognized that and has really worked on tax incentives. And I want to underline tax incentives because there are some politicians that are still calling this tax loopholes and making the corporate side kind of look negative or bad. These are not loopholes. These are tax incentives that are putting people to work. And they're absolutely necessary, especially now when we have this economic decline, until we get out of this decline and until our revenues come back. So this is very important. The other thing that I want to mention is that there are people that are still fighting us with our environmental regulations and the great, great laws that we have passed. There is the greedy oil companies from Texas. They don't like what they are doing. They hate it. Because that means that there's less oil they're selling. If everyone in the world would drive those cars that they're creating, the oil companies will be out of business. So they don't like what we're doing here. So this is why they're spending millions of dollars out of Texas. Millions of dollars to roll back our greenhouse gas emission standards and to take us back into the Stone Age. But we don't let them uh, do that again because we have known we know what they've done in the early 20th century when we had uh, two-thirds of the cars being electric cars on the road and only one-third fueled by fossil fuels. We know what they've done then. That will never happen again. We've learned from experience. Now we're going to go with alternative fuel vehicles so that we have choices. So when the gas prices go up, we can go and drive other vehicles. We don't need the oil then. So anyways, I want to say thank you so much for the great work that you've done. And I want to thank all of the journalists that are here from Japan, from around the world. I know this has created great excitement. And we are very, very happy as governor of the great state of California. I'm very happy that we have this great partnership and we have this company now producing cars here in California and um, employing so many people. Thank you very much. Thank you. Looking for a new car or truck? TheAutoChannel.com has the most complete and up-to-date pricing, vehicle specifications, and reviews.